What's up everybody, Michael Reading here. Here's a first little vlog subject I got for you guys. Uh, might create some controversy, but this is just my personal opinion. Um, I'm a huge 49ers fan, obviously. Uh, this is definitely not a Dodgers hat by any means, shape or form. So let me just get that out of the way first. Um, Colin Kaepernick sitting down during the National Anthem in a football game, I don't understand it. You know, I understand what Black Lives Matters stands for. Don't always um, understand why someone would sit down during the National Anthem of a football game. Um, Colin Kaepernick, you make millions and millions of dollars, you know, every year. And uh, I can't see how, as a national icon um, and a very popular football player who took the Niners to the Super Bowl, um, would do something like that when you have little children watching you and looking up to you. Being oppressed is understandable. Um, and I do understand racial tensions. Now, the question is, is Colin Kaepernick with his $21 million contract, is he oppressed? All football fans look at that. Uh, people like me who work and pay a mortgage and do day-to-day -day things. And we don't understand you being oppressed. We don't, we don't understand you kind of, um, kind of acting like a teenager, to be honest with you. Um, like a spoiled teenager who's rebelling, um, and doesn't appreciate what you have here in this country. This is a great country. It's a free country. Um, there may be instances with police officers and citizens. They may commit crimes, they may not commit crimes. Police officers may do correct things, they may do incorrect things. However, your role as a football player and a superstar is to have model behavior. Behavior that we'd want our kids to emulate and someone that we'd want to look up to. And I wouldn't want my kids sitting down for the national anthem. I would be very upset to see them do that or not take off their hat or put their hand on their heart. I don't think that was the right move. I do think that, you know, people kind of tiptoe around the subject. Uh, some people will just say it straight out and say they agree with them and it was the right thing to do. And this is what this country needs is people to rebel against the national anthem and the country and until our police officers or our country wakes up and okay i hear that without police you have chaos absolute utter chaos like a purge you can't have that you have to have military you have to have police you have to have firemen you have to have taxes for streets, roads, you know, fire hydrants, traffic lights. You have to have highway patrol to make sure people don't drive crazily. Without these laws and without these rules, you have chaos. You have no society. You have the wild, wild west where it's kill or be killed and people can come into a town and, and ruin a town, you know. Um, in the Old West, in gold country, when people migrated out West, you look at, you know, Google it, uh, look up old Western videos, look up what happens without cops. It, it's, it's chaos, you know, whether or not police, uh, target certain people or whatever they do. Um, I think all citizens, should react the same during a traffic stop. Yes, here's my license and registration. Okay, what did I do wrong? Okay, either I agree, I disagree. If I want to fight it, fight it in court. 
move on. You don't have to fight it right there. You don't have to physically fight. You don't have to do any of that like that. You know, we have to, and police officers, you don't have to overreact. You don't have to shoot people um, for no reason. And we don't have to have communities having riots. Not necessary. Nothing good comes of that. Nothing good. Just, it makes the people who do the riot not look good. It makes children scared. It makes society unrest. Police officers who do bad need to be punished. If they are not found guilty in a court of law, then we need to move on. And the media in general needs to make sure that they show both sides of the story. And that it's never one-sided. And they need to understand, you know, the gravity of the situation. And that things aren't always negative. They don't always need to be negative. And they're not always positive. But a balanced side should be a good thing. So, you know, I am a 49ers fan. I have been. You know, I grew up in the Bay Area. Um, I was a definitely a big Colin Kaepernick fan. I like when he took him to the Super Bowl. Uh, he's a great athlete. You know, I, I I like to say, you know, at this point, I feel like I'm just a little disappointed. You know, being that he's a you know stellar athlete, and he's got to that level. Um, you know, obviously, you know, coming through Nevada and and California, playing with the San Francisco 49ers. You know, I just I expect a little more of you. You know, as a player and as an athlete and be a good example for our children and for our young football players and your personal beliefs are fine um everyone is entitled to them and you have a right to do as you want this is america it is a free country however instances with certain police officers in certain situations do not define the whole of the country and did not define every single police officer's actions. They also don't define every single um, Caucasian American's actions or African American's actions, and they don't define a race or ethnicity as a whole. So that needs to be stomped out right away that one person does not represent an entire race, and they never will, and they'll never be the same. Two people are are not the same and they don't think the same way so I want to continue to enjoy sports I want to continue to enjoy football um, but you know politics and football are two separate things and I think they just need to be separated so in the future I would hope that you know you'd think about your actions and if you want to go to the political stage and and be a political figure I'm sure CNN and and all the different news agencies would love to hear what you have to say. And I'm sure they'd love to hear everybody's reactions and their tweets and everything they have to say about what you believe. Um, but to disrespect our country and to not stand up during the national anthem, that's not appropriate. And that's not something that kids should look up to. That's not what a leader does. That's what someone who's being immature, childish, and not thinking about how they react to their emotions as a man and a citizen of the United States, they should be thinking about how kids will view them and what is appropriate behavior. So, you know, that's my little spiel on the whole deal. Um, Colin Kaepernick, if you ever see this, I want to make sure that you do know that... I think you're an awesome athlete. Um, I just think that your political views should not bash this country because of certain instances with police officers. And I think that you should, you know, go on camera and say that police officers do do good things. They do. And say some of the truths about things that are out there. And don't spin it all as negative from what you see on the media. Because if we believe everything we see in the media, <laughs> how gullible are we? I mean, this is not every single traffic stop. This is not every single courtroom. This is not every single instance of law enforcement everywhere. You know, what you make of it when you blow it out of proportion, 
you make it to its every state and every city and everywhere is horrible. So let's make football great again. And let's leave the politics out of the football. And let's make people enjoy football. Football season is about to start. That's what it's about. It's about enjoying the games, talking with your friends about it, going to games, um, talking to players, doing your fantasy league stuff if you do that. You know, that's what America's about. It's got a great sport, a lot of great sports, and we need to enjoy those for what they are. So, thanks for listening to my little spiel about Colin Kaepernick, uh, the 49ers, and, you know, issues that could be trending um, at the time. You guys have an awesome day. Thank you.